What's up guys, Charles here with D2IPDesigns.com. I'm bringing you another tutorial. Today is going to be a Cinema 4D tutorial. Um, this will be part 3 of the germ animation series. And um, starting off where we left off last time, last time excuse me, um, we have this ball here, the germ ball, the platonic, and you know the camera hovering above it. And then, you know, if you remember in the animation, it then zooms in really close and you get a close-up shot and then everything goes and fast forward and plays in reverse and then yeah so I'm just gonna go over this really briefly and then I'm gonna switch to something else um, this this is gonna be really brief because you guys should know how to do it it's pretty simple so obviously as the camera zooming in you're gonna need to animate the light again and then the platonic um, what I did with the platonic is as the camera zooming in, you can see the platonic starts off with the ball on top, and then as the camera zooms in, the platonic expands and it um, consumes both the ball and the camera to where they're both inside of the platonic now. So, as you can see, so that is basically it. Camera zooms in, platonic expands. Um, the light inside here um, gets animated so it's not too bright and that's pretty well it okay so next part that we're gonna work on is this something everyone's been looking forward to I think where the tentacles come out pretty cool pretty cool so let's go ahead and get started so under the first part, I'm sure you remember making, um, I'm just going to open that back up and then the camera, I'm going to erase these keyframes here. I'm going to leave this because if you remember when it plays in reverse, um, it basically zooms out and then it um, starts tearing this up or the tentacles start tearing that up. So I think I'll leave that in and just add it to the animation inside anim uh, After Effects. And uh, yeah, I think it'll be a good idea just to leave this and add everything in at After Effects. So anyway, um, what we want to do is we want to just go ahead and get started on tearing this thing up with the tentacles. Um, you don't have to use a plugin for the tentacles. I personally am. Um, I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's a really awesome plugin. Um, if you don't want to use a plugin, you can make your own tentacles several ways. I have a tutorial on it. Um, it's covered in the uh, I cover it in the uh, chaos animation tutorial. So anyway, for the sphere, we need to do a uh, let's see octo. I think it's a uh, icosahedron. I'm not really sure how you say that. Let me go back here and see if I can tell by looking at this. It's hard to say. Let's see. Yeah, okay. I think I'm right. Let's go ahead and crank this up to like 25. 28. How about 30? I'm going to go with that. Um I don't I don't want to add in too many because I don't want want this thing to start lagging too much and slow everything down. So now that that's been done, go ahead and make this editable. You can also hit um, C on the keyboard. I'll just show you. C. There you go. Editable. Anyway, right click on it, simulation tags, and we're going to do uh, cloth. Go ahead and check on the tear. And let's see, forces. Let's go ahead and turn gravity off. All right. And then we need to go to simulation, cloth, cloth nerves. Whoop, my bad. You want to go ahead and drag the sphere into the cloth nerves. Um, under cloth nerves, I'm going to increase the thickness and then turn on parallel. I don't know if there's really a point in increasing the subdivisions. We might, we'll see. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and add in the plugin. Alright, so I just added in the plugin, and if I turn 
this off, you can see it is right here. So for the settings, I'm going to do uh, random, um, let's see, animate spline, spline math, and then under general settings, go to auto animation speed and just turn this up. Manual offset, um, you can mess with this a bit if you want to. It's really your choice. But as you can see, it kind of automat automatically animates a little bit now. And then let me just go ahead and right click on it. Simulation tags, col uh, cloth collider. Um, let me go back here and just look at all the settings I used. Okay, so the count is 11, steps is 5. Okay, count 11, steps 5. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and animate this now. So let's just start it here, and then I'm going to control click right there, add a keyframe, move ahead, and just make this two or something. Three. We'll do three, I guess. Actually, let's go four. And then keyframe it. Let's see. Okay, let's go back out now, oh, or let's go to the other one, um, change this to helix, it gives a nice little curve in the tentacles. Um, let's see, I had alliterated formula on apparently, or iterated formula rather. So there we go. There's that. Let's go ahead and turn this back on. And as you can see, some tearing is already starting to happen. So there we go. Just like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn up the thickness. Whoop. Let's do something like that, I think. So there we go. That's the basic idea. Um, we could increase the subdivisions. I don't know how much it really matters, but we can. Um, let's go back again and just look at some of the other settings I have. Um, diameter, diameter offset. Let's go ahead and change that. So, um, where are we? Uh, sweep settings, there we go. I guess we'll go ahead and increase this a little bit. Um, Sweep start, we don't need to mess with any of that. We really don't need to mess with any of this stuff too much, really. Um, let's see, is there anything else I should mess with? I don't think so. Um, obviously, this isn't going to be exactly the same as the other one, but you're going to get a pretty decent idea of what I did. Um, there's a ton of settings you can mess with. I, I recommend just experimenting with it, seeing what you like, and then, um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. The other thing I did was I just took this and then I just made it spin. So set a keyframe, move it ahead, and then just spin it in different directions like that. Keyframe. And there we go. That's pretty much it. Like I said, just mess with some of the settings. Um, just play with everything, and I'm sure you'll get something cool. That's basically what I did. I just messed with everything until I found something I, I liked, and then I stuck with it. So uh, there should be probably one or two more parts to this. We will see. Um, I'm out of here, guys. Peace.